Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson. We're ready for Saturday Night Football. We couldn't have asked for better conditions here. And with me is legend of the game, Gary Lyon. I had hope. Tonight's an exciting one. Tonight's clash between Melbourne and Gold Coast. Prepare for the toss of the coin. Melbourne kicking to the left of screen. Four rounds in and there's still question marks over a couple of sides in the competition. Well, let's see what these two teams can bring today. So far, we've seen some teams clearly emerge as top sides, but there's still enough time in the season to turn things around if you haven't started well. Just waiting for the opening siren now. And away we go with the opening bounce. Gorn won it down. He wins possession. Jenkins just streaming past and gets the footy. Kicks goal, but it won't have the desired outcome. Blitzarves ready to bring it back into play. Alice there to mop up. Reed wins the foot race. Great tackle. He's got the football now. Parrish a bit too casual with the tackle. Doing well to intercept that kick. Uses it now. Easily takes the mark. 40 metres out. Going for goal number one. Martin delivers with a straight drop pass. He loved that one. He's kicked the first goal. We're back in the middle to resume play. Tap came from Gorn. Warple, interesting handball. Takes possession. Looks like he might be hurt at the moment. Gary, what do you think it is? Yeah, definitely something wrong here. He's trying to get off the ground as quick as he can. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Beautiful tackle. Oh. The Suns by eight points. Let's ask to bring it back into play. Finds this one all by himself. Keeps the kick low. Good mark there. Two, he goes with the kick. Lyon found some space and marked. Elects to kick. The ball finds Williams. Moves it by foot. Jenkins got hands to it. Darling gives the don't argue. Parker going for number one. Drop punt straight through the middle. Pretty happy with that one. Melbourne deliver the first goal. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Finding the ball was Pollock. Intercepts the ball well. Buse puts it on the boot. McCarthy dismisses his opponent with disdain. Alice 
quickly onto the boot. Pathway takes it well. 50 metres out. Move it on. Going for goal number one. He pops through the goal. Pathway love kicking that one. Gold Coast with a handy break. They lead Melbourne 14 to 6. Swatson. He's got the footy in his hands. Hill gets the loose ball. Has a runner alongside him. Takes the mark all by himself. Day pass in a bit of space. He takes aim. Chalk a goal up for Melbourne. Look at them celebrate that effort. Melbourne close the gap to two. He did really well there and gets the reward. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. About to resume play. Tap down. Taken by Dallas. May took his eyes off the ball. Landed in his back on this occasion. Tips it towards half forward. The ball ends up with Dallas. Goes for the goal. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. A low stabbing kick. Coughed up by Hamling. Kicks out of the congestion. Fumbles the ball. Dug out the loose ball. A good result there. And that's a goal for Gold Coast. Hatley celebrating hard. The lead is now eight. Center bounce. Gorn won the hit out. Ball collected. Got the hands free. Alice comes away with the ball. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Litzavs has resources out wide. Hartley got under it. Looks to move it by foot. Ends up turning this ball over. Gorn elects to kick. Gets into some space to mark this. Gold Coast have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. A chance to reload the attack now. Parker uses it by foot. The ball mopped up. High tackle. Slams it on the boot. Makes it somebody else's problem. Williams puts it out in front. Tips it towards half forward. Wilson spills it. Didn't get away from that tackle. Fantastic tackle. Paul and Smith going for number one. Goes wide for the line. Gold Coast, Fleet Melbourne, 21 to 12. Blitzarves plays on. Kicks it out of the fence. Mark Bottui. Looks up with the kick. Tomlinson takes the mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Gold Coast forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Great tackling there, Hutto. Parrish with the intercept. Puts it on the boot. A mark by Gorn. With a driving kick. Marks now and can send it back. Moves the ball by foot. Good grab there from Wines. Goes by foot. Takes a simple grab. Gold Coast just aren't running for each other or... Plenty to analyse from the first quarter, Gas. Gold Coast came out and started well. They deserved the lead at quarter time.
Anything you can see, Gary? The Demons are doing well to control the ball in the air. They are getting to the right spots to cut off opposition attacks. They just need to be more controlled from this point forward. Cheers, Gaz. Ready to go for the second turn. We're back in motion. Gorn thumps it clear. He has the ball. Darling gets his opponent onto the wrong foot. He drives it. A strong pack mark. 35 metres out. Dake should be able to put this through. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. He's enjoying that goal. Melbourne reduced the margin. Thump clear. The ball in the hands of Hill. He gets his hands on the footy. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Can it tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. He lays off the pass. And he stepped over the boundary line. The ball is coming back into play. Picking it up was Jenkins. Wilson hits him hard. Wine clears the ball from the contest. Mocklock couldn't keep his hands on it. The umpire gives a free kick against Parker. A chance to put one through here for Gold Coast. 30 metres from home. They can't afford to be wasting these shots at goal from the corridor. Looking to kick goal number two. What a kick! And he puts it through! He acknowledges the crowd. Gold Coast lead is now nine. Thumped by Himmelberg is in his possession. He gets another possession. Putting his skills on display. Greenwood dug out the loose ball. Scoops up the ball. The umpire will ball it up. Hammers it. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Fantastic pressure there. Lucky to be on the receiving end of that decision. Chips it towards half forward. Himmelberg marks uncontested. Uses it by foot. Reed looks to get onto the football. Hits him hard. Links with hands. Going for goal number one. Enjoying that goal. Gold Coast, good kick back-to-back -back goals. Now they lead by 15. Warple releases the ball. Has it now. Hacking it out of there. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Puts boot to ball. Two he runs after this one. Picked up now. Gathered by Rioli. Contests the hard ball. Rehacks it on the boot. Perfectly. A second goal in the bag. He celebrates hard after that. 21 points the difference. Back with another centre bounce. Gorn just swats it away. Finding the loose ball was McKay. Dug out by Pollock. Rushes with the kick. Finds himself in space and marks. 50 metres out. going for number one. They are happy with that effort. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. They get around him after that effort. Gold Coast have kicked the last four goals. The margin is 27. Taking a nice grab. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Himmelberg, is this the moment? He's put that one through. He puts through his first goal. They increased their lead, celebrating hard. The margin is 33. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Thrashes it. Fighting hard was Darling. McKay unable to apply the tackle. Tomlinson to take the free. 
Tomlinson has resources out wide. Wasting a lot of effort there. Wilson can link up through hands. Williams just threw it. Decides to kick. Finds the loose ball. We'll have another ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Umpire tosses it in. Darling made a meal of that one. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Clears the contest with the ball now. That's the sort of goal that can get the team up and about. Jenkins kicks his first. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. Gold Coast, but 39. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Gold Coast have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Back in the middle now. Gorn won the duel. The ball spills to Darling. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Sinks the slipper into it. Two, he gets in a good position. Gold Coast haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning table that way. Off hands from Hearn. Releases by hand. A clean pickup. He heads for home. Gold Coast. Someone home. He's excited about that one. 45 points the difference. The game is back underway. Gold Coast are making the most of their ruck dominance. It's one area of their game that seems on top here. Pollock earns a free kick. Got boot to ball. Takes that one strongly. Hamling right on the edge of his range. He likes his chances from here. He sums up the situation and delivers. Yes, Hutto. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. This lead getting bigger now. About to resume hostilities. Winning it was Jenkins. Great control there. And now we'll have a ball up. Well, this game is really getting out of hand. Jenkins got the tap. Collects the loose ball. He decides to go for home. That's a well-executed kick for a goal. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? That pushes the lead further out. His teammates rush over. We resume hostilities. Wins the ruck duel. Wins the race to the ball. Warple wins it back. Gathers it now. Patley just dismisses McKay. He delivers with a drop pass. Gets him a reward for his efforts. Gold Coast lead by 63. Umpire ready to resume play. Won the hit out. Here's Warple with the ball is Parrish. There shouldn't be long left in the half now. Pushes off the tackler. With quick hands, he can take off after that handball. Warple won himself a free. Good opportunity for Kassans to put a goal through here. 35 metres out. Sends it home. Smiles all round. Gold Coast with the ascendant. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the term. The scores. Gold Coast, 87 to Melbourne, 18. Gold Coast have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? Gold Coast. Well, a big second half about to begin. Back in the middle. Gorn just slaps it down. Gets around Mr. Invisible. At full stride, receives the handball. A chance for Greenwood. Put his body on the line. They can create from this. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. 
So what could Melbourne do with this opportunity in front of goal? Might be too far out to score. Move it on. Baker going for number one. Good looking kick off the booth, and it sailed through. Of course, Hunter. Puts it through. Can that goal be the start of something more? Puts it through. It's great to watch, Hunter. Plenty of excitement. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Melbourne can't get their hands to the footy if they can win more of the ball than they can get back into this one. Back in the middle. Guides it down. Mops up the loose ball. Outstanding pressure. Gorn having an impact right now. He's on fire at the moment. Wilson marks it. Goes with the kick. He gives chase to the footy. Rioli picks up the loose ball. And the chance at goal is taken by Gold Coast. That's his first. They stretch their lead with that effort. Congratulated by his teammates. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Gold Coast could have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. The game is back underway. Jenkins won the tap. Slick with the hands, tough ball to handle. Martin links with a teammate who can run. Linking by hand, racking up possessions now. Does well to cut off the kick. Cleary has resources out wide. Warple wants to play on. Quick hands, and they could be away here. The umpire will ball it up. They just need to find a way to work back into the game right now. Darling dishes it off. He gains possession, wants to keep it moving. Has a man running for him, cleanly picked up. A bit too hard with the push, and it's a free kick. Greenwood knows the pressure of the kick. A huge moment if he can converse. They get around him after that effort. The Demons behind by 63. About to resume hostilities. Slapped away. Martin gathers it now. Umpire penalises him, and it'll be a free kick. Darling applying the pressure to Martin. Constant pressure and rewarded. Releases the handball. Just gave it away. Sweeping handball. Hurried kick. Reed collects the loose ball. Keeps it moving. Himmelberg on the ball. Gold Coast finds a way to get that one through. He's got a couple now, starting to get into this game. Smiles all round. We resume hostilities. Jenkins hurls it away. Wingard made the tricky bounce look easy. Wilson heading to the bench. The umpire calls for it. One down. Pollock onto the ball. Picks up the loose ball. Sheridan gets a quick kick away. Hamling couldn't hang onto the ball. The handball now from Flostone. Martin clinks up with a chance to run. An opportunity for a third goal. The drop part sails between the big sticks. This one gives them a bigger lead. He's enjoying that goal. Gold Coast doing well at the moment. Center bounce. Won it down. Gorn runs onto the field. We'll get a ball up. There's not too much going on out there at the moment. Taps it down. The bounce made it tough. Just gets a boot to it. Parrish struggling to run at the moment. McCarthy leaps over the top. Putting this one through would give the Suns plenty of confidence. Going for goal number one. It's off the line.
Gold Coast plea is now 76. Teammates break for him. Litzavs decides to go to himself. Chose to kick it. Williams collects it. Collected by Cleary. No issues with that drop point. This kick has extended their lead. He acknowledges the crowd. That's three in a row for Gold Coast. Now they lead by 82. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That's a really good team goal. Gold Coast have to be smarter with their ball use at times. At the moment, they're turning it over in the air too regularly for their liking. We're back in motion. Gorn guides it down. Winds with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Motlock doesn't take the mark. Bruce handballs out into space. Floster going to be penalised here. Unable to create the space. Brilliant chase. Opportunity once again for Melbourne to put one through. 50 metres out. A must-kick goal here. Lyon puts it through. Gets his first. Important kick here. And it goes through. Celebrating hard. Margin in a really tricky situation. Thumps it clear. Is in his possession. Missed the target. Just got the hands in the back there. A spearing kick from Wilson. Mark will be paid. Lambert didn't mark it. Maynard gets the handball away. Just put it on the boot. Finds a bit of room to mark. Gold Coast would love to make the most of this opportunity. Slams it on the boot. A solid mark from Darling. Decides to kick. Fuse takes it strongly. Puts it on the boot. Drops the ball. Ball picked up. Gets it away. Warple gets on the end of that handball. Gets the loose ball. I hate to say it, Hutto, but this game is over. Gorn palmed it down. The loose ball picked up. Clears the congestion. The loose ball scooped up. He gives it a ride. Rioli goes for home. Could have been a big goal. The lead is now 77. Let's ask, searching for a teammate. A chance to gather the ball. Getting pushed out of the way was not long. Two he handballs, receives the handball and takes off. Quickly onto the boot. Warple drops the mark. My ball, says the umpire. Gorn clears the contest. Shows some physicality. I'll have it. We'll get a stoppage. Gorn with a big fist on it. Dug it out. We head into the final term with the Suns 113 playing Melbourne 36. Gold Coast fans are we hoping they can hold on and get a memorable victory today. Leading the ranking points on the ground. The opposition need to get a hold of him. Last quarter action, ready to go. Oh, they've got to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Tap down. Doing well was Parker. Bruce does well to mark. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. They are desperate for a goal now. That ball comes off the post. Melbourne now only trailed by 76. Plays onto himself. Hook it drives a low kick. Motlot just landed in his back.
They can take the sting right out of the game. Gold Coast are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Collects the loose ball. Baker slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Warple with an easy mark. Does well to cut off the kick. Chose to kick it. Lyons grabs that one. With a driving kick. Marking in space was Williams. Looks to move it by foot. Wilson with a clean collect. A lot of possessions for him. Two, he creates a contest. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Kicks hurriedly. Ends up marking uncontested. Practicing some fancy moves. Moves it by foot. Rioli gets on the end of this. Looks up with a kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. Uses it across half-back. Takes an uncontested mark. Gold Coast just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. He drives it. Wingard with the mark. Picked off by Clury. Goes by hand. Hearn with the ball. Slams it onto the boot. Two, he takes advantage. Couldn't complete the mark. Warple manufactures a handball. Reed will be upset with that. Mops up the loose ball. Fuse slams it onto the boot. Wingard hangs onto that one. Doesn't hold onto the mark. He just throws that ball. Kicks it long. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. This kick to keep some hope alive. He'll drive it home from a long way out. Gets some reward for his efforts. Melbourne behind by 70. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Back in the middle now. One down. Just goes bang. Quick handball. Darley gets on the end of that handball. Day controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Distance, no problems from here. He needs to convert if they ever have any chance from here. His teammates rush over. Melbourne could kick the last three goals. Well, the margin's large, and time is certainly against them. He gets his hands on the footy. Gorn making his way onto the field. Ball up call. This game is out of hand and could go downhill even further. The ball spills free. Gets a quick kick away. Gathered by Reed. He looks like he needs a spell. He's excited about that one. No doubt about it. That's two now. Finding his feet in front of goals. This kick stretches the lead. Some great ball movement there. He just knew they were going to score. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. When the forwards are marking the ball so cleanly inside 50 like they are now, it must give Gold Coast a lot of confidence, especially when the pressure is on. About to resume play. One it down. The ball spills to Parker. Warpool steals possession. Narrowly avoids the tackle. Finds a target. Uses it by foot. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. Got boot to ball. 
It's marked by Darling. Gold Coast haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Darling was taken high in the tackle. Tips it towards half forward. Good body work to win the mark. The distance might be just beyond him. Kick by Greenwood. Marks now and can send it back. Gold Coast have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Ran hard to take that mark. Moves the ball by foot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Goes with the kick. Darling failing to get near it, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Alice kicks in heavy traffic. The mark is taken by Williams. Uses a short handball. It's a turnover. Just gets it onto the boot. Marks that ball uncontested. Elected to play on. Papley did well to win that ball. This will certainly test him from this distance. Lining up for goal number four. The game never reached any great heights, and it ended as a bit of a one-sided affair. What stood out for you today, Gary? They have to learn from this experience. People will start asking questions at Melbourne if they continue to play like they did today. Thank you very much, Gaz. At the end of the match, Gold Coast defeated Melbourne 119 to 49. That's all for today. On behalf of myself, Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.